Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is part four of the Alan the Alien tutorial. And we're picking up where we left off ye uh, yesterday. So, what we did yesterday, we made the teeth, and the other two parts before that, we made the eye and the head. So, if you haven't seen one, two, or three, I suggest you go ahead and check those out. And you can follow along with the tutorial. So, this part, we're going to fix up the lighting, and we're also going to uh, work with um, color ramps and material nodes and stuff like that. So yeah, so let's get started. It's a pretty fun thing to do to me. So first thing you want to do is you want to add. Uh, well, actually no, we can just duplicate the normal lamp. So let's go into texture mode. Press uh, Alt Z. Go ahead, select this. Bring it down here. Okay, so you want to bring this to right about there. So it's pretty much pretty good lighting. Okay, now press Shift D and bring this over here okay now we're gonna have two more lights and these lights are gonna be um, less strong so go here to material and since you have a lamp selected it'll automatically go to the lighting uh, tab right here so press shift B put this one right in the mouth but this one's only gonna be uh, 0.2 energy just to give it that faint glow until we can see inside the mouth so just move this inside okay Move this along the x-axis a little. All right. So now press Shift D and move another one right underneath the chin, and we'll be done with the lighting. I mean, lighting is really easy when it comes to like basic light lighting uh, setups like this. Really easy. Now, one thing I want to do. I want to select the mesh. Go here to the editing tab, and I want to turn render levels of the subsurface modifier that we put on to three. So that um, this means that uh, levels is at two, and that means that's what we see. But the render will have three levels of subdivision, so it'll be a lot smoother. I'm actually going to turn this down to one level, so that it can be um, I can work faster. That just looks really crappy right now, but believe me, the render looks a lot better. So yeah, so let's actually yeah, let's put one more light above here because it doesn't seem like it's lit enough. Alright, so now let's select the camera. And now let's just um, bring this down. I'm going to put the grid back on. So if you turn that off in the last part. So just go to View Properties here and turn Grid Floor on. Okay, now we got the grid floor. And that's just for, you know, for me to see. So press G and then press, uh, sorry, wrong button. Press R and then press Z. And then just move it over, and that means you just gra gra uh, grab the camera on the Z axis. Let's rotate it on the X on its X axis. So press R X and then X again. Okay, and now it rotated. And the reason we press twice, like I already said last part, is that you can um, rotate it on its local axis, which is its own axis. So just move this over here now. R X X down a little more so we can we can give it that uh, effect of us looking down on it move this over towards the middle and bring it out and to bring it out you just press G and press the middle mouse button or you press a G and shift and alt let me make sure of that because I'm not sure right now no it's not that um, either or I don't know but just press G and middle mouse button and you can zoom in and out. But that's perfect for me. So select the alien mesh. Actually, let's change the name from cube. Let's call it, I'm just going to name this Alan. Since it is Alan the alien. So now let's work with color ramps. So here is ramps. Just select that. And it has show uh, color ramp on. Now just press color band. Now turn this, select this one, just click on it. And let's turn this to a night bright, uh, nice bright green perfect let's turn this one here to white okay and let's turn the alpha up sorry turn the alpha up alright now you'll see over here you get this effect but that doesn't look good at all so let's change shader to normal and now we have this cool effect here let's turn the specularity down 
Okay, now there's also um, you can add a color ramp in the nodes editor, and you can do it uh, either or. But I like to do both, so they kind of mix in between each other and get a really cool effect. So just make sure that this is on, and then press use nodes, and then press this uh, these two buttons here, and then just press end material, and then it's the material that you had there. I've already done a tutorial on uh, material notes, so check that out if you don't know how to use material notes. So let's go ahead here, press material, press space, add vector normal, and I'll explain why in a minute. And then press space, add converter color ramp, and then link material normal to normal, and then normal to color ramp you want dot to fact, which is the factor, and then just put color to color here. And the reason you want to put normal there is so that it can go undergo the um, normal process and will seem a lot better. So let's just put about the basic, uh, pretty much the same texture we did there. Let's turn that green, and turn this white, and that's it. Okay. So now we have this cool effect. So now um, let's go and press this here so we can do comp use composite node. Let's use nodes. And now we have these two. Now select the render layer one, just left click it, and press space, add output viewer, and it automatically connects to it. Now I'm gonna um, render it so it can uh, so you can see what it's gonna look like. Uh, I'm you know I have a limited amount of time, so I'm just gonna pause it really quick. Okay, now as you guys can see, it's way too bright, so let's just go back to the material tab here. Let's turn this to like a dark, dark gray thing. Like a darker thing. Press F12 again, and like I said, I'm just going to pause it and I'll just keep coming back and forth like that. Okay, now, as you can see, it's all about trial and error, so it's now it's too dark, so let's just bring this back to white. Now let's try putting this one to kind of like a dark gray thing. So now it seems to be better. So I'm just going to pause it again. Sorry about all the pausing, guys. Alright, so here's that. And we're just going to mess around with the uh, with the composite nodes. So now that we have that, let's just press backdrop. And Oh yeah, one more thing. Go ahead here and press do composite. And that way anything we do in the node editor uh, appears in the final render. So i got to let it render one more time. Sorry, guys. Okay, now, as you guys can see, with as when we press backdrop it appeared back here now you have to have the the viewer node connected to the render layer or else that won't work now okay so let's uh, give them a blur uh, like a glow thing and in order to do this just press the render layer here press space add go to filter and press and put in a blur now put image to uh, image here with the with the blur to the viewer Sorry guys, it's okay. Yeah, my computer acts up really badly with this uh, recording software. Okay, so now you're gonna want to turn this from flat to fast Gaussian since that's the fastest blur we have, or uh, in Blender. So press X25 here, and that means it blurs 25 Blender, uh, well, 25 units on the x-axis and 25 on the y-axis, so you get a really blurry image. Now with the blur here, you want to press space, add color RGB curves move this over and then put color to color with the RGB curves and you want to add a dot here and just bring that down to where we barely see just partial partially green and that's pretty good right there okay now that we have that you want to press RGB curves and then shift click render layer and just shift left click that press space add color mix and then just put that to the, to the viewer and now it's back to normal and um, what that does it mixes the normal image with that really blurred out image so anything we do here it's just gonna make that blurred image brighter with this one I just press add well actually we can just mess around we can press let's say screen you know in case we want it like a duller thing I'm gonna press darken see how that works see just to show you guys saturation but let's just go ahead and press add 
see how one does and it gives it that cool glow effect so yeah so let's go back to the 3d view and yeah so that's pretty much it for this part and the next part we're gonna tweak uh, some stuff and that'll be the final part so be sure to watch part 5 when it comes out so thanks for watching